Rush getting ready to kick the ball away now. As it's a short kickoff, it will land for Pineda. Again, the trickery by Fort Morgan as the ball ends up in Nate Alexander's hands. Oh, and a late flag comes in there from the referee, two of them. This one coming from the back, a little extracurricular, I think, after the play was dead. We'll see if we have our first penalty of the night. Yeah, I think there was a kid from Brush that was being blocked by two Mustangs, and he took exception to it. The men in the stripes will go ahead and converse what they saw. Very late flags thrown there. As it stands right now, the ball is at the Fort Morgan 13-yard line. But that could change. 7.20 on the clock. 15 nothing after Brush has really had control of this first quarter. A safety, a touchdown pass, and a touchdown run for Brush. Fort Morgan's only had four plays from scrimmage, uh, one of them being a fumble. So let's hope they can turn it around and get something positive out of this drive. They've had nine yards of offense thus far and the fumble on their very next series. Let's see what the official has to say here. So it's going to be an unsportsmanlike on Brush, and he has been ejected. If that is what I just saw, I believe the player from Brush has been ejected from the game. And next week, Brush is going up against a tough 2A opponent in Faith Christian and high school rules. If you're kicked out of a game, you have to miss the next week, too. You know, I'm not exactly sure what went on there, but as it was away from the play, up about 15 yards from where the ball was. What I saw was the Brush player take a swing after the play had been dead. Like I say, two Morgan players were blocking them and a little frustration. We see the head referee over there talking to Randy Dreitz, the head coach from Brush. Dreitz trying to plead the case for his player that he was making some sort of a swim move. That's what it looked like. But if what you're telling me, Kevin, is that he did throw uh, a swing at the direction of a Fort Morgan player, that definitely does warrant an ejection from the game. That's what it appeared to me as. And that appears to be what the officials have seen as well. Long delay here as they're trying to sort it out, get the right player, make sure that they've ejected the right player. And Dreitz for Brush is making his case. We should see the ball move 15 yards away from the Fort Morgan end zone. Give them a little room to maybe stretch out the offense and get away from that running game. Both of their drives starting at the 20-yard line. Pretty good crowd in attendance here tonight in Legion Field. The brush side relatively full on the opposite side from us. Fort Morgan student section on their feet right now as the cheerleaders are coaxing them and trying to get the fans back into this game. It's good to see the officials huddling and making sure they made the right call and conferring. A double-edged sword here, making sure that they made the right call, but at this point, this has really stopped the game. This could benefit Fort Morgan as... Maybe you take a little bit of the wind out of the sails of Brush and you're able to regroup and focus. You see head coach Harrison Chisholm for Fort Morgan heading out there to, to speak with the officials now to figure why the delay has taken so long. But anything right now, take this as a timeout is for, for Fort Morgan without actually having to burn one. They're able to gather themselves, look at each other in that huddle, and, and find a way to get back into this game. Yeah, I think the time is going to help them out, collect themselves. But a lengthy delay here as we're still trying to figure out the penalty, the ejection from the unsportsmanlike penalty. 
Now it looks like uh, Coach Chisholm is getting his explanation. After Randy Dreitz for a brush has received his explanation for quite some time over there. Again, the unsportsmanlike penalty. I did not catch a player number. But the Beat Diggers have had a player ejected from this game. Again, all of this happening after the whistle was blown on a kickoff. After Brush scored to put it up 15 to nothing. I'm thinking it's Jacob Nichols, number 88. He's the one sitting over the, on the bench getting the talking to from the coaches. You see not a not a particularly full bench for Brush as they are a 2A school. Not too many players over there. In fact, they have several guys going, playing kind of an iron match game. Vince Albo, who is a wide receiver, already has a touchdown pa uh, reception tonight. He'll be playing at one of the cornerbacks. Connor Weiser also has a touchdown run. He'll be playing a linebacker. Ethan Brost is an offensive lineman and a linebacker. And Eric Garcia playing both ways as well at one of the corner spots. Fort Morgan will get the ball. We'll start this drive at the 27-yard line. First and 10, 7.20 on the clock. The officials again standing over the football. Apparently the officials do not have plans after this game as they are taking their sweet time making sure that they get this one right. A lengthy, lengthy delay here. Well, I'm sure the officiating crew has got first game of the season jitters like the players do too. It is the first game for them as well. Let's take this time to tell you about T.O. Charlie's. See T.O. Charlie's for a great used car or truck today. If you don't see what you want on the lot, they will find it for you at 700 West Platte in Fort Morgan. Looks like maybe they're ready to go now. Again, the umpire standing over the football. Fort Morgan breaks from their huddle, and I believe we are ready to play. So after that long delay, we'll see how Fort Morgan responds. Martins surveying the defense, looking over to the sideline. And there's the signal from the referee. Martins will be under center. He'll turn and hand the ball off to Fitzsimmons. Fitzsimmons dives off the right side, makes it to about the 30-and-a-half-yard line. We'll call that a gain of about three. It'll be second and seven. Looks like it's going to be some tough running up the middle against that big brush defensive front. Again, Brush features the same type of defense that Fort Morgan does, a 5-2. Though that'll change. Here is Alexander off the right side looking for something, and he's not able to find anything. Ran the entire width of the field, it seemed like, and was able to pick up not even a yard. We'll look at a third and seven. Fort Morgan again breaks the huddle on the far hash, moving left to right at the 30th yard line of their own. Martin's under center. He'll turn. Keeps the football on the fake this time. We'll throw it out to Pineda, who catches it, dodges a tackler, stays on his feet, and is able to get to the 40-yard line. That gets the crowd into it, and that's good for a Fort Morgan first down. A great individual effort by Pineda there as Martin's completes his first pass of the game. Who was that on that reception? Pineda. Pineda. All right. Pineda comes to the sideline now as Martins will break the huddle again. 
First down, first first down of the game for Fort Morgan. Martin's under center again. Three guys in the backfield behind him. Martin's turns, runs a trap play. No, hangs on to the football and is stood up there by a slew of brush tacklers. Yeah, they were trying to option the left tackle there, and left tackle got to him before he had a chance to pitch it. Martens with no shot on that play as he loses two yards. Second and 12 now, five five minutes exactly and counting in the game. 15 nothing brush. Martens again under center. Fakes the handoff, will keep it himself, and he's got room to run. He's across the 50, 45-40. Stiff arms a tackler, down to the 20, 15, 10, 5, and he's brought down just shy. We'll see what the officials say. They have him just shy of the end zone. Call it the one-inch mark. What a great individual effort there by Martens. He takes that ball all the way from his own 40-yard line down to the one-inch line. Yeah, that's the spark that Fort Morgan needs. Call that a gain of about 60. Very impressive there for Martens. Now let's hope they keep that momentum and punch it in. Martens again under center. He's got that trio behind him. Martens hands the ball off to Fitzsimmons, and he's in for the touchdown. Check that Jared Boehm with the grab, with the rush, excuse me, and he's in for the touchdown. No shutout this time for Fort Morgan, and I bet you they are relieved. Maybe this will get the crowd back into it and keep things going for them. They still haven't found an answer for Brush's offense yet. The defense still with a lot of questions, but at least the offense is doing their part to try and pick them up. Already, with the six points that they have, already over their average of last year, where they would only manage 5.1 points a game. The kick is up for the PAT, and it is blocked at the line of scrimmage. Jacob Frick with no luck. But still points on the board for Fort Morgan as you hear the cannon go off in the north end zone. 4.23 on the clock, 15-6 to 6 here in the first quarter. Brush in the lead. You're listening to Fort Morgan Mustangs Football on B106 and B106.com. Welcome back into Legion Field. Kevin Rohde, I'm Alex Egan. Fort Morgan down 15-6 to 6 after a great individual play by Martins and the, the touchdown by Bohm. Jacob Frick teeing up the ball now for Fort Morgan at the 40-yard line. Frick approaches the ball straight on, gets a kick, low dribbling kick, and it'll be picked up there by Garcia for Brush. Garcia with some room up the middle. He manages to dodge a tackler, but he's brought down there at the 37-yard line. So Brush, with their worst starting field position of a drive, will start this one at the 37 of their own territory. Brush so far able to capitalize on all their attempts, even a defensive try. They've got a safety in this contest, a passing touchdown, and a rushing touchdown. This drive will start at 417. Tormolin under center for Brush. A flag comes out, possibly a false start here. Generally, when the flag is thrown by the referee, it is a false start, and it will go against Brush. Well, what do you know? Brush is human. They made their first mistake <laughs> of the game. They did make a mistake there, because that will push the ball back to their own 32-yard line. The five-yard penalty makes it first and 15. Again, really the first thing that's been wrong for Brush that's really hurt them. They had the unsportsmanlike penalty earlier in the game. Really, that that penalty and the long delay able to catalyst be the catalyst for that Fort Morgan scoring drive. Again, Tormolin under center. 
He's got elbow to the near side. He looks to hand the ball off, but there is no room there as a swarm of Fort Morgan tacklers come in. And they're able to hold it to no gain. It'll be second and 15. Maybe the defense is fired up from that touchdown or long run. It's it's funny how the little things like that, a big play or just a, a long delay like the, the one we had with the penalty, figuring out which player from Brush was getting ejected from the unsportsmanlike penalty, but how a big play is able to, to stem your entire team and, and really make them get back into this game. Again, Tormolin under center. We'll see... A timeout called by Brush. So we have a timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout of our own. You're listening to Fort Morgan Mustangs football on B106 and B106.com. Three minutes, 28 seconds remaining here in the first quarter of a game between Brush Beat Diggers and Fort Morgan Mustangs. 15-6, Brush in the lead. Brush going backwards on this drive as they've been not to do so far in this game. Second and 16 is what they're faced with from their own 32-yard line. Tormolin under center. He'll set his offense, turn and hand the ball off. No, he keeps it himself and he's under duress there as he gets yanked down. Oh, he manages to get the throw off to a wide open man for Brush. Randy Baker open there but it doesn't look like it was enough to get the first down so it'll be a third and we'll call it two nice 14 yard pickup there Tormolin did a great job of avoiding the tackle he had the Morgan defender draped over him and he made that throw a great job by Tormolin to keep his eyes down the field and find the open man The third down play. And Fort Morgan comes up with a big stop as Brush tries to run the ball off the right side. And they're not able to get anything. We'll see what Randy Dreitz out of Brush wants to do here with a fourth and one that he's facing near midfield. We'll see what formation that Brush breaks into. Looks like they're going to stay in the offense. Fort Morgan has a man deep. I don't think they necessarily realize that Brush is going for it, and there they do. They call for the timeout. Harrison Chisholm heads up there to see that Brush didn't have their punting unit on the field, and he did. This timeout is brought to you by Edwards Wright Price Market and Flowerland. Located at 1201 East Platte Avenue in Fort Morgan. Stop by and get what you need to refuel on game days. Timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout as well. You're listening to Fort Morgan Football here on B106 and B106.com. A fourth down play from Brush as they hand the ball off. This is going to be close. It all depends on where the spot is for Fort Morgan. The official on the near side doesn't have it. The official on the far side does have it as a first down. This one looks like it's going to be measured. And yes, the man in the white hat will call for the chains. Stopping the clock with a minute 56 left on the timepiece here in the first quarter. A lengthy first quarter for two teams that feature running the football offenses. A lengthy first quarter. Oh, well, we had that big delay. And the long delay with the, with the ejection and the penalties. Out there assisting the officials is the Fort Morgan Volunteer Fire Department chain gang, a tradition here at Legion Field. And they do have enough for the first down, much to the dismay of the home crowd in front of us, but the brush crowd on the opposite side of the field from where we are erupting in, in cheers. So not by much, just about the nose of the football gets them the first down for brush, and they continue this drive. Well, to use an old cliche, it's a game of inches. <laughs> it most definitely is. Brush now with the football at the 47 of their own territory. Tormolin hands the ball off. And again, the Brush defense equal to the task there, limiting the, the yards between the tackles for Brush. Call that a gain of two. 
The ball on the far hash there. That's 34, Tyler Carter for Brush. We'll see Tormolin hand the ball off again, and this time Weiser's able to bounce off, and he's able to shake a tackler with a great stiff arm. He gets down to the 40-yard line of Fort Morgan territory. What a great individual effort there by Weiser out of brush. Connor Weiser with a great stiff arm to shake the tackler from Fort Morgan. He's able to pick up a first down. It's good to see a big kid like him that is probably used to running up in the middle be able to break it out to the outside and get some yardage. Definitely able to bounce it outside, and, and what you would figure from Weiser would be that he's able to run it between the tackles, but Fort Morgan's defense really showing that they're not going to bend and break, so Brush has had to push the ball outside. Spot the ball at the 39 of Fort Morgan territory. Tormolin keeps the football, and he's got room to run out the right side. He's chased there by a couple Fort Morgan players but he he is able to grab a first down great individual effort there by Tormolin as he keeps the ball himself calls his own number and is able to pick up another first down for Brush clock stopping with the first down here in high school 36.5 on the timepiece here in the first quarter that was a nice naked bootleg off to the right side by Tormolin Spot the ball at the 25-yard line. Tormolin under center. Check that. We feature Garcia under center this time. Weiser didn't find a lot of yardage up the middle that time. And I think Brush will be content to run the clock out for the end of this quarter. And that is what they're going to do as they congregate over on the far sideline. So that is the end of one quarter here at Legion Field. Brush leads Fort Morgan 15-6. to You're listening to Fort Morgan Football here on B106 and B106.com. <laughs> 